Hello, my name is Faith Maloney. I'm one of the co-founders here at Best Friends Animal Society. Welcome to our very special All Souls Blessing. All Souls Day is a day of prayer and remembrance for the souls of those who have crossed. This annual blessing ceremony honors those sanctuary, staff, and member animals who have crossed recently. We'll also be burning and placing all of the tribute cards that were sent in throughout the year. Tribute cards have a long tradition at Best Friends. When someone would like to honor a pet who has crossed, they contact us and we send them a tribute card by mail. Once the tribute card is filled out with the pet's name and a story or photo, it is then sent back to the sanctuary where it is displayed at one of our monthly blessings. This evening, we will gather all of the tribute cards we've received this year and ceremonially burn them. Tomorrow, once the ash has cooled, it will be collected and placed in a site here at Angel's Rest to permanently hold the love and memories that everyone has shared with us this year. The site will have a marker, so in the future when members come to visit, they can see where it has been placed. To request a tribute card, follow the link in this post. Call to Gathering As you pass through this gate, you realize you have entered a space where time has no meaning, a space where peace and harmony are eternal, a space where you are always welcome and always loved. Listen. Hear the message of a love not forgotten, but of a love that transcends all physical realms, a love that lives on in the spirit of these animals. Remember, you were once the guardian of these animals on their earthly journey. Listen, hear the wind whisper through the chimes, the silence on days gone by, leaving only memories of moments in time. Breathe. Take in a breath of life and thank Creator for the moments you shared. And then rejoice, delighting in knowing that your friends saw with the angels and are now your guardians. Hello, my name is Josh. I'm one of the caretakers here in Angel's Rest at the Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. And at this part of the program, I would like to read the names of the animals we had lost for this month here at the sanctuary. In cats, we had lost Sandwich, William, Forge, Melvin, Sarah, and Austin. And dogs, Shockey, Toru, and Butch. And in horses, we had lost Felix. At this point, I'd like to read some stories and names of the members and staff here for Best Friends. Mary Thurner had lost Mr. And she writes, Although my time with you was only five months long, you managed to put yourself in a permanent spot in my heart. Your love for life and cooked chicken surpassed any health issues you struggled with. Until we meet again, my silly boy, I love you so. Rob and Aaron Marciano had lost Lulu. Aaron writes, I am so happy Little Bit chose me that day at the Humane Society. After two hours of spending time with each cat there, Lulu was the only one who greeted me with a deep purr. I knew she was the one. She was by my side for 13 years, and that beautiful purr comforted me daily. I will hear it in my heart forever. Rob Marciano wrote, Aaron adopted Lulu before we met, so you could say I was <clears throat> married to Lulu. But having to lay her to rest was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Her pretty green eyes and sweet rumbling purr had a greater impact on me than I had imagined. Though she was always made her presence loudly known at mealtime, 
Her tolerance for rough and tumbled children was one of Lulu's many gifts to our family. And all, I will also cherish the rare times she would climb onto my lap. We all love Lulu very much and she will be in our hearts forever. Heather Besignano had lost Suki. Suki, meaning beloved in Japanese, was a companion and tried and true friend until the end. A tiny tortoise hair cat with a spunky spirit. She didn't like anyone, but she loved me. She helped me through the breakups, the fear of moving away and starting college, and always gave me a warm greeting when I returned home to Texas. I will miss her forevermore and hope she is breathing new life in on the other side of the Rainbow Bridge. Linda Schuer had lost Leo. Joyce Moyer had lost Rufus. Roberta Champion had lost Esmeralda, her heart cat. Wendy Stanford, Bug. Bonnie Cook had lost May May, Lily, and Dolly. Kathy Bosley had lost Ella and Rufus. Donna Clifton lost TJ. Katie Kisovic lost Riggity Smith. Susan Gordon lost her Rosie. Rosenblum family had lost their Riley. Karen Alvary, Bogey. Gary Chapman had lost their Morgan. Beth Wolfer had lost Alvin. Marion Lesberg, Sandy. And Bonnie Austin had lost Tommy. For the tribute cards that were sent in, Lance, Bella, Mary, Loctosh, Lulu, Solo, Leia, Sneakers, Cookie, Cupcake, Peanut Butter, Raven, Mobius, Greta, Abby Rose, Alka, Dexter, Sasha, Buster, and Chloe with Ollie, Lily, Shasta, Simon, Eliza, Java, Patch, and Ito. Mr. TC, Harry Winston Bradway, Zach, and Smokey. Chanel Walton, Miss Kitty, Amigo Carney, Ringo, Sabrina, Tiffany, Clover, Jasmine, and Grace. Groucho, Roxy Landry, Thomas and Celia, Casey Sutterith, and Rebecca Rose had wrote, thank you for allowing me to share your lives and to care for you. With these names included, Barnaby, Grace, Tristan, Carson, Rachel, Hope, Zane, Joan, Audrey, Zeppi, Sammy, Dean, Little D, Rocky, Harry, Ben, Bondo, Wimbledon, Blink, Olive, and with Larry, Morticia, Grandma Scarrell, Joshua, Frog, and Chickaboo. Hi, my name is Tom Williams. I've been a caregiver in Dogtown for 10 years, and I'd like to remember two dogs tonight that I was the caregiver for during my career here. One's name is Google, and the other's name is Marshall. Both were male dogs. Google wa was a local dog from Kanab. He was tied up in his yard and kept escaping. And the last time that he escaped, his owner just decided that he didn't want him back. And uh, because of Google's tendency to escape and him being on a tie down, he injured his neck during that process. Um, when we got him here at the clinic, it was uh, discovered that he had some injuries to his neck. And so we, uh, he, he had chiropractic appointments with Dr. Tara, and she also prescribed some neck stretching exercises to keep his neck limber. It was one of the coolest things I've done here in my career is do those neck stretches with Google. He was so good for it, and he allowed me to teach others, like interns and volunteers and other people who came to visit the sanctuary, how and why we were doing Google's neck stretches. A really awesome dog. He lived here for about five years, and then he went to Canada to a foster home in Canada, 
they decided that they loved him so much that they adopted him. And he lived uh, with his adopters in Canada for approximately a year before he crossed uh, just this past July. The second dog I'd like to just remember is uh, named Marshall. Marshall came to us a couple years ago and for the first six years of Marshall's life, uh, he spent with a single owner. When she passed away, she was able to rehome Marshall to a second owner where he lived for four years um, until she um, had to go into assisted living and could no longer care for Marshall. And she asked that he could come to best friends. She didn't want to have to rehome him um, a second time and find another home for Marshall. Marshall was a fantastic dog, uh, about a 65 pound black lab mix. Um, an old timer when we got him, he was about 10 years old when he arrived here. I remember when he first arrived that we put him in a run and he didn't know what had happened to his life and he would let out these really plaintive long wails and cries um, but after a couple of days he got used to it and he discovered that his caregivers were pretty nice people too and so he really settled into Dogtown life um, and the biggest gift I think that Marshall had was his ability to coexist with other dogs. We could use Marshall to help anxious dogs, shy dogs. He took so many dogs under his wing and he was kind of like that kindly grandfather uh, that you could just uh, sit next to on the couch and he would tell you stories. Marshall was that dog. Marshall did end up getting adopted uh, into a home here locally um, and he was only in that home for a couple of months before he was diagnosed with leukemia and he passed pretty quickly after that. Uh, but I would have to say that in maybe all of my 10 years here, Marshall is easily in my top five favorite dogs. Just a wonderful, wonderful dog. And so I'm really happy to remember both of those dogs tonight. Um, and um, I just wanted to share some of those memories with you guys. Thanks. I'm Byron. I'm one of the caretakers here at Angel's Rest. And we'd like to dedicate this poem to the Katrina animals and uh, victory dogs who have, that were in our care this year that have passed on. I lost a treasured friend today, a little dog who used to lay her gentle head upon my knee and shared her silent thoughts with me. She'll come no more to my call, retrieve no more her favorite ball. A voice far greater than my own has called her to his golden throne. Although my eyes are filled with tears, I thank him for the happy years and let her spend this time with me and for her love and loyalty. When it is time for me to go and join her there this much I know, I shall not fear the transient dark, for she shall greet me with a bark. That poem is by Unknown. The Blessing. I give you this one thought to keep. I am with you still. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on the snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds in circled flight. I am the soft stars that shine at night. Do not think of me as gone. I am with you still in each new dawn.